What's up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Rise here with the Super Cost Blog. Today I'm here to talk about Mellow Orange artist, Lighthead member, Omega Watts, new CD, Pieces of the Dream. Give y'all my thoughts, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion. You may not agree with my opinion, but it's just my opinion on this new CD. Um, it's a pretty short album, it's only like 45 minutes. Uh, sonically, you got like maybe one song with a little Caribbean vibe, a couple a little darker, maybe you consider East Coast, underground type beats. But uh, mainly this album, um, and it's one instrumental, but mainly this album is really more of a funk, electronic disco type of album, um, sonically. Drum wise, um, I'm assuming Omega Watts produced all this. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I didn't get the production credits with the purchase. But uh, but the main thing, I, or what I like about Omega Watts, is he really understands rhythm. Um, and this might sound like a crazy comparison, but it it, it reminds me, and again, they're not they're two different type of artists. But it kind of reminds me of DJ Quick. Uh, back in the day, I used to be a big DJ Quick fan. What I always loved about Quick is he understands grooves and rhythms and, and getting people into, you know, a, a hypnotic state when you listen to the music, and, you know what I'm saying, getting your head bobbing. And, you know, throughout this album, you know what I'm saying, you really get into the groove. He really know how to get you to that rhythm, that groove. And, you know what I'm saying, Particularly, I'm going to say it, the art that comes from Christians, a lot of them really don't understand that. But for him, I think he does understand that formula. Um, now, my favorite parts of this album that gets in the quote, so quote unquote, in the groove, it's sort of like he, when he turns into, and it's a metaphor, but sort of like when he turns into DJ Omega Watts. Um, there's a song on here called Just Wanna, and it seems like from there until, let's see, Icarus, is it Icarus, I believe it's called? It just really turns into a party vibe, like the way he blends the records together, um, just the whole vibe of it. He has some singers, sometimes he doesn't even rap, but it just, how the song blends together, it feels like you are like, either at a club or you're like listening on the radio and like a DJ is at the club and he just playing song after song just getting people to party getting people to dance and that goes on like I said from Just Wanna uh, A Tale of Love Dream Sequence Good Fun The Spinning Animation and Icarus like that whole section is my favorite section of it because it just feels like a, a, he getting his DJ on and when he puts it up on this this whole vibe. Um, let's see what else. And, and to me, going a little tangent, but to me, I mean, that's that's really hip hop roots, man. Party music. You know, I love underground boom bap, but come on, man. Party music and, and getting the crowd to move is is where you know hip hop started, at, not boom bap. And so that's why I really enjoy that section. I wish he could have did a whole album like that, just a whole party album. That's an idea. Throw it out there. I'm sure he's not going to watch this. But just nonetheless. Um, some of my favorite stuff on here. Um, song Rock Rhyme uh, with Money Matt. It has like an old school video game sound effects on here. Just mixed with the 80s type of drum. And he has, sort of has like this rock him vibe. The way he's rapping. Dope. Uh, Cosmonauts. Uh, is a Stefan or Stefan Otto. Uh, I never heard the dude. But his cadence on this song is crazy. I mean, and to me, he's even better than Omega Watts on here. But this dude, cadence is nice. Um... As well as I like elementary, um, you know, he, like I said, Omega Watts is 
he's you know definitely a Christian and quote unquote he doesn't preach to folks, but there are definitely some sections where he explains his Christian faith and then I know in this song Elementary as well as another song I forgot the, forgot the name of where he just really goes into what the Christian faith is about. So yeah, it's a fun, you know, party album. I mean, he has, you know, Christian lyrics. If you're familiar with Lightheaded, you know, it's, it's similar to that, where he's able to balance, you know, the the Christian audience as well as just the hip-hop fans, you know, and just making good music. Um, really nothing bad about this album to me. I think it flows pretty well. I like the guest appearances. I like the singing. I like the whole party vibe with the mixture of the funk. Like I said, it just brought me back to my DJ Quick days, some of it. Though the drums are not the same, but just that whole groove and funk, electronic and disco vibe. Just real dope, man. So that's what it, you know appeals to you. I know some of you are probably like, nah, just like dark underground boom bap or like more of a jazzy vibe. That's cool. That's not really the vibe of this album. Um, so if you're looking for that jazzy Omega Watts, not really on here. So that's my, my thoughts on this. Love to hear yours. Proceed with Carson Blog, Cover Sucks in the Mouth.